Hi there, this is Lady Shell. I'd like to welcome you to my new series that I'm calling Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with its own description in the title, so you can look at this playlist and pick and choose the topics that interest you the most. Or you can just start at one and go through 25. They are all between 3 and 10 minutes in length, so if you don't have a lot of time but you want to learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds, these tips should be helpful. Note that if you're a long-time user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find these tips interesting. I'm aiming them at brand new users to give them a look at what Fantasy Grounds can do for their gaming. So sit back, relax, and hopefully you'll learn something new. Now today we have a map on the screen and I am going to show you how to set a grid on a map. It's very important that you always set a grid on the map before you add your players to the map because if you don't they will not uh, scale correctly. So to do this it's quite easy. You're going to right click, you're going to choose layers, and then you're going to choose this set grid down in the 6 o'clock position. Now you'll see I have like a crosshair. I'm going to uh, scroll in a little bit and I want to set a map, a map with the, with the each square being about 50 pixels. So I'm going to take and left click on my map on my uh, screen and I'm going to that will start I'm going to start in the upper left of the of the box that I draw and drag down to the lower right. So I click on the left click click on the left button and I drag and you can see there's numbers inside. These numbers represent the size of the square. So let's continue until we get to 50. There we go, we got 50. So now I have a grid that's set to 50 pixels per per square here. And that is how you set a grid. And it's, it's very important when you find maps. If you're finding a map and you're going to use a map for your private game and you find a map online, try and get maps that do not have a grid already drawn on it because a lot of times when you try and, and put your grid in on Fantasy Grounds, they won't match up exactly and you'll have like double lines in certain places. Maybe it'll be fine over here, but over here it'll be all messed up. So that is one tip for if you are looking for maps online and you're just using them for private use. So I hope that you found this tip interesting. I hope that you will continue to watch the rest of the tips in my series. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.